Okay, I'm standing here in front of a, um, a dry point that Tom Marioni did about a year ago. And uh, this is a, done, this one is called a walking drawing. And he took a sharp tool and just started, you can see how all the lines begin at the same point here and he just walked, walked and walked and each time kept going back and forth uh, until he created this entire picture. And he just has a show uh, at the Paul Anglum Gallery in San Francisco where he was drawing circles. And again, using his body as a kind of a fulcrum in order to uh, make the mark. And when I was um, looking at these pictures, it, I remembered something that I had shot about, oh, it's been almost 30 years now, I think, it's 27 or something, years ago of Richard Diebenkorn in the Crown Point studio completely different artist, completely different kind of approach. It really um, comes more out of abstract expressionism, or Marioni is out of conceptual art. But with uh, Diebenkorn, again, very concentrated, very rhythmic, very much um, about being into some kind of flow. And so it occurred to me there's some kind of distinction between the personal expression of an artist and the expression of what might be called the music of the spheres or something like that, the universe, the way things are, which probably is what you're getting into when you get into the flow and any kind of work. So I wanted to just call your attention to that and show you some footage of Tom Marioni. This is a work, a drawing, that he did down in, um, in Johnson City, Tennessee, the home of the Carter sisters. Uh, bluegrass capital of the world. They had a terrific bluegrass band playing and some students uh, ran and jumped in order to make the drawing called um, Flying with Friends, a similar idea of repetitive marks done from uh, the, the idea of flow.